with troubling news emerging from Lil Dirk's court case, we received an exclusive phone call from Dirk in jail. He had submitted a bond release application through his new attorney, Drew Finley. It was announced that Lil Dirk's lawyers had presented new defense evidence aimed at proving Dirk's lack of involvement in the murder for hire case. Lawyers anticipate that the OTF rapper will be released on bond soon, but prosecutors countered with arguments to prevent this. The feds brought up an Instagram live video by Lil Dirk from the night Lil Pop passed away, claiming it provided incriminating evidence. For example, if someone asks me to recommend some jewelry to him, I make sure why is in that vault. To make matters more suspicious, during the live stream, Dirk called a fellow street member and added, Just got off the phone with my brother. The feds claimed that Dirk smiled when someone remarked about sliding for King Vaughn, interpreting it as an indication that he was aware of something about to happen. As a result of these claims, Lil Dirk's bond request was denied. Lil Dirk. We're not praising negativity. To say that he's in a good mood and trying to get home to his family and children would be an understatement. Regardless of their financial situation, they are. All the talk about Dirk being arrested got the attention of Lil Tim, the man who took out King Vaughn. He said the entire situation should have been avoided. I was just protecting my little brother. When you did finally find out it was King Vaughn, how'd you feel? Tim replied. I was like, damn, if bro didn't do that stupid last night, he still would have been alive. That's how I was. But I was like, ain't no. No. The type of person I am is a humble person. I'm not disrespecting his mama or anything like that. Because I could easily get on that type of stuff and be clout chasing. But I'm not that type. I'm a modest person. I'm not. It seems, though, things never really pop off that way. However, the Dirk case became troubling when it was reported that Lil Dirk had pleaded not guilty to more serious charges related to a purported plot to remove Quando Rondo. The rapper's detention hearing is set for December 12th. Dirk was taken from the Miami Federal Detention Center after his detention on October 24th. Reports suggest this transfer occurred because Dirk changed prisons following the OTF jam incident. Sources claim Dirk sent personnel after individuals who had wronged him. Today, he was arraigned in Los Angeles. In Hypno Caro's new song, Free Smirk, Chicago rapper Lil Dirk made his first public appearance since his imprisonment. Shortly after the song's release, reports surfaced claiming that Jam was apprehended by OTF agents concealed in a crib outside of Atlanta. Jam reportedly received penalties for spying on Lil Dirk including the release of a picture showing the moment he was freed from the place where he was residing. However, as this unfolded, fresh accusations were brought against Dirk. These accusations claimed that Lil Dirk faced additional charges in his federal case. The new charges include one count of conspiracy, one count of murder for hire involving the use of interstate facilities led to a fatal incident, one count of possession of firearms and furtherance of a crime, one count of carrying and discharging firearms in a machine also resulted in a fatal incident. One of the most significant developments in the case was the judge's approval to use Dirk's lyrics against him. According to court documents, lyrics from the song Look on the News and See Your Son Screaming No No were interpreted as describing Quando's reaction to Lil Poe's death. The court also revealed that a man in the car was distraught at what he saw. Additional lyrics suggested knowledge of an address and location, giving the impression that someone had informed them about Questo's whereabouts. Federal authorities suspect this incident may connect to Brick Baby as the perpetrator. Brick Baby, who is reportedly loyal to Dirk, claimed he would have disclosed Questo's location if Dirk had asked him. Brick Baby defended his stance, suggesting people in Dirk's neighborhood might have been involved by lining someone up. In the end, What's wrong with giving my friend the address? Oh, my boy lost his boy who did it. If he had asked me, I probably would have been admitted. If he had even asked anyone if this was true, nine times out of ten, like I said, can I leak a bar? Sure. I said if he makes the car right now, I accept it, right? However, Dirk himself could be the biggest snitch in the case because those self-snitching lyrics could exacerbate his situation. I don't think we'll hear drill music ever again. 
and I don't think drill rappers will ever be celebrated again. This caught the attention of Charleston White, who explains that this is a victory for the rap community. He says it is a true victory because drill music was a demonic force, a dark force that spread throughout America from Chicago. Down goes the drill, he said. This is a win for law-abiding Americans who enjoy hip-hop music but don't want to kill parts of it. However, it's not all negative for Dirk because, according to Kodak's attorney, Bradford Cohen, Dirk has a chance to win the case. Cohen said, I'm hesitant to say that they have a slam dunk case on Dirk Banks because that's not a good text. But is it the only text? That doesn't stand on its own. Certainly it's circumstantial. But as I said, we have to wait and see what other evidence they have. If they have a snitch, if they have videotapes or audio tapes of him saying something, I think that's a lot different than, hey, just make sure you don't associate my name with these guys. Because it could be that he's blaming Grant or one of the other guys saying, hey, these guys are going to do some crazy stuff. He might also be saying, hey, listen, make sure this doesn't associate with me at all. You can interpret that in a million different ways, so I'm hesitant to say they have a slam dunk case against Dirk Banks. The case is still in its early stages. However, the lawyer mentioned that he believes Dirk could be released if no one else snitches on him. It all depends on the hunger of the U.S. Attorney and the assistant U.S. Attorney AUSA involved. If they want this individual badly enough, they'll offer very attractive deals to other individuals. What does a very attractive deal look like? Typically, they go for the lowest hanging fruit. Someone who didn't play a major role, maybe someone involved but not directly responsible. They'll have forensic evidence, so they'll target the least culpable individual first. They'll approach that person with an attractive deal. If that person doesn't take it, they'll move on to the next. Usually, this is the pattern. Target the guy who is least involved. Offer them a deal to flip. The indictment is intriguing because it's not just about money, it also mentions career advancement as a possible motive. However, one major obstacle to Dirk's release is the continuous emergence of new evidence against him. Winning a federal case is extremely rare. There's only a 1% success rate since the feds boast a 99% conviction rate. Another lawyer has reviewed all the case documents and shared them with Lil Dirk, who is now indicted on federal charges for the death of Lil Pub. The prevailing belief among lawyers is that he will likely negotiate a plea deal for a lighter sentence. According to information gathered from Dirk's communications, experts believe he must enter a plea or he would never be free again. To further demonstrate that Dirk knew the suspects and carried out the hit, federal investigators discovered a video of the suspects with King Vav alone in a jewelry store. The iCloud record showed that Dirk had warned an associate in his hit plot not to book any flights under any names connected to him, even though the associate had done so. Go over there, boss. You good, my boy? They got real here, man, because he just stepped in. The moneyman stepped in, someone said. But in court, they revealed times that Jam was informing Dirk. This was seen in an Instagram video where he's constantly touching his jacket and whispering to the wire. Like, back in the day, ain't gone lie, man, someone said. Hey, when I was GR to daring on the end, got your. What makes it feel so bad for Dirk is that he gifted Jam $50,000 when he was released from his sentence, just for Jam to switch sides on him. What name is Steady Feed, see that? My baby. How y'all hold your babies, ain't it? I got to hold my money like this, too crazy though, Dirk said. Up there doing all this sneak dissing, internet games and all this up some money do something like goof bro jam continued bro got out what you know he did all in the year that did all yeah 12 12 that boy popped out 12 years but only a couple of months after his release didn't change his lifestyle with lil dirk's help instead he got caught for possession of a firearm rather than serving the multi-year sentence he would have received he became a federal informant on Dirk. During those months he was free, Jam revealed that Dirk even gave him a place to stay and a car. Yeah, cause, uh, he just came home not too long ago. Someone said. When'd you come home? 
I've been home a little bit over a year. A year? Okay, a little bit over a year. Hey, 12 years. Flat 12 years. 12 years. I did my time and told nobody. Ain't know my name. Like, how did you even get LinkedIn with OTF, period, together? Someone asked. This ain't no people I met now. I knew them. Like, I'm saying this before. Jam explained. Yeah, cause he's super, like. You know what I'm saying? He said, Jam, get out that jam. I'm going to give him 50. He ain't got to ask again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to ask. They said they gave you 50, bro. Someone added. You know, which got Lil Baby to share this. This situation is unbelievable. This can't be true, man. Free the youngster, Dirk. These streets are wicked, and your own brother will abandon you. But when they brought up Brick Baby again, the situation worsened for Dirk. Brick Baby said in an interview. You can't guarantee that Dirk never slid for King Vav again. After Dirk was placed in detention, Lil P Brick Baby responded to this and acknowledged that he had made a mistake by bringing Lil Dirk additional attention. Five Chicago gang members with connections to Lil Dirk's OTF are accused of hiring Quando Rondo in the LA incident where Lil P was killed. If found guilty, the suspects will face severe penalties. According to the indictment, their flights and rental cars were paid for with credit cards linked to OTF. But was this an attempted hit or something more? There's speculation around this. Additionally, Quando Rondo made comments referencing the 2020 incident where King Vaughn was killed by his crew. Quando mocked King Vaughn, saying, Man ran up on me, then we sprayed him. I'm talking lights out. We do the dash, and that Durango jumped out with that pipe out, so tell them to pipe down. Feds believe this is when Dirk allegedly planned how to retaliate for King Vaughn's death. A couple of months before Lil PB was killed, they had rapped lyrics like, They like Dirk, he's a singer, he won't do anything. You can believe whatever you want. I got your folks struck right now. To make matters worse, three police officers are being sought after for attacking a Savannah rapper and a member of his entourage in Los Angeles. The incident was caught on camera. In another twist, Quando made a derogatory comment about his favorite Opie's sister, saying, she talks too much, and I don't like her. Little Timmy rolled her brother up after he was stepped on by some Nike sneakers. Dirk added fuel to the fire with lyrics like, Look on the news and see your son screaming no no, directly referencing the hit song related to Lil P.A.B. The man, who was a passenger in the car, was reportedly furious at what he witnessed.